Hey you guys, it's me SpongeBob Naro and Fan Southern 3 here. And today I am going to be making a video of my top 9 favorite SpongeBob toys in my collection. So let's go ahead and start with my 9th favorite toy. Alright, so here is my 9th favorite SpongeBob toy. This right here is the extremely rare talking SpongeBob toy. And I got him for my 17th birthday back in 2020 Ooh. and he's actually very super cool and he's actually one of the first spongebob toys ever made he's really awesome and i love this toy a lot because he's actually very super cool and he's really awesome and rare too and you can flick him on like this like that <coughs> okay and you can squeeze him and he'll talk. See? Bring it around town. See? Meow. And then you can bounce him up and down like this. And he'll laugh. It's really cute. Oh, hold on. Yeah, this toy is really super cute. I love him a lot because he's so cool and rare. And he's definitely one of my, like, most cherished, um, Spongebob toys, I think. But yeah, there's a little Spongebob. And then there's his pet snail, Geary, with a, like, humongous shell. <laughs> and this, like, really cool stuff right here. Like, coral or something. And he's really, really nicely detailed, Spongebob. And Geary looks actually pretty good, too. Here's the bottom of it. And this was made in the year 2000 as well. It's very hard to see. You can see that right there. It's very super cool. Alright. And now for number 8. This really super cute bendable Spongebob figure. So I really love this little guy right here because he's so fun and cute to play with. Um, You can bend his arms a little bit like that. And give him a fun new look. Like that maybe. And you can even move his little feet. A tad. Like you can make him. Oh, I don't want to damage him. But yeah. You can make him look really super cool. I prefer to move the arms a little bit though. But now he looks like he's pointing. He's like oh hey what's that? Ooh. <laughs> that looks really cute. And he's really really well detailed as well. They even gave him the green pores, his pants look fantastic, and his shoes and socks look really good too. And he was made back in 2001. It's very hard to see, but you can kind of see it there. Um, yeah, he's a very, very fun little figure to play with. He's so well made, and he's really soft. And you can bend him and pose him any way you want. And he's really, really fun and adorable. Alright, so that's all for this super adorable Spongebob bendable figure. And now for number 7. The Spongebob Rev Up Chopper toy. So this is um, a really, really super awesome little toy. Um, it comes with this really super cool Spongebob figure and this like really cool biker outfit. And this really, really nice motorcycle right here as well. It's very, very nicely detailed. Um, I really, really like this toy because I saw a video of it. And I thought the toy looked really, really super fun. And um, it reminds me of this car that my brother used to have. And um, him and I would, like, play with it. We'd, we'd, like, you know, rev it up. And then it would, like, go insanely fast and stuff. And it had, like, little sparks in it. It was so cool. So little Spongebob um, has this really cool, like, determined face. He has these jeans on with um, a spiky leather bracelet and these really cool fingerless gloves and these really cool boots. And the motorcycle is, like, kind of purple and red and it's really cool and, like, gray right here as well. And you can actually um, sit Spongebob on the bike. Hold on a second. Alright, I got him on his bike. And the really cool thing about him is that you can... Ah, actually see that he can grip the handlebars of the of the motorcycle thing and you can obviously rev it up and he'll go really really fast it's really awesome to play with 
Oh, ouch. So, yeah, that's pretty much all for this really cool SpongeBob Rev Up Chopper toy. So, now for, I think it is number six. Okay, so my sixth favorite Spongebob toy is this really super cute, like, um, retro Spongebob figure. He's, like, from the 1950s, 1920s or something, and he is so cute. As you can see, he's, like, gray colors. He's black and white, and he is so cute. He's made out of vinyl, and he is so adorable. I mean, seriously, look at that face. Look at that face. It's so cute. And, um, yeah, he's, like, all gray right here. With a cool white shirt and, like, a light gray tie with dark gray shorts. And Spongebob's body is, like, um, a kind of light gray color. And this really, really, really nice base right here. He's really, really nicely, beautifully detailed, I think. He's really nice. All right. And he was made back in, like, take a quick look. He was made, actually, in 2018, but I'm pretty sure he was released in 2019 for the 20th anniversary of Spongebob. He's definitely one of my personal favorites. I think he's really cute. Alright, so that's all for this super adorable, like, retro black and white Spongebob figure. So now for number five, I think. This really super cute superhero Spongebob figure. So he is my my fifth favorite SpongeBob toy, I think. He's really, really super nice. He has this really, really cool like blue mask on and this like blue looking bodysuit. These light blue tights, these blue boots that match his bodysuit and his um, mask thing, and he has this really cool blue cape. It's blue on the back, and then on on the black. Wait, no, on the front, it's black, so you can see there. It's really, really nice. He's actually really nicely detailed, and I love the fact that his cape is, like, kind of flowy. It's so hard to tell, but it is flowy looking. It's really, really nice, and I love this little guy because um, he is really cool, and I love how, like, detailed he is. He's really cool, and I also really, really like this Spongebob figure because he's so darn cute. I mean, look at him. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, he's, um, really, really nicely detailed, this guy. He looks really, really nice. See that? Alright, so it's all for this super adorable superhero Spongebob figure. And now for my fourth favorite toy. This little Spongebob jellyfishing figure, and I know that he's super tiny, but I love this little guy because he is really, really well detailed again. I mean, you can even see that he has, like, these little, um, white pieces in his eyes there. So it kind of makes it look like his eyes are glistening. And you can see there's his jellyfishing net in his hand. His right hand's holding it. And there's his little hand right there. That's really cute. And he has his square pants on and they're so nicely detailed i mean look at his socks they even put the stripes on the socks they look really nice and i love the like grassy um base that he's standing on it's so cute i really like this little figurine he's so well detailed and he was made back in um 2002 where the heck does it say that oh down here see right there 2002 see that Alright, so it's all for this super adorable little jellyfishing Spongebob figure, my fourth favorite toy. So now for my third favorite toy, Bubble Blowing Spongebob, and I absolutely adore this little guy because um, he is so adorable, and he can um, blow bubbles. So as you can see, he has this really cool like bubble wand in his, uh, his right hand. And he has this, like, blowing look on his face. His cheeks are all, like, puffy and big. And this really cool, like, cup that you can actually pour bubble solution into. And as you turn him on, he'll actually... Eh? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> See, look. 
you can turn him on and he'll actually move his arm. And there's like little bits of air that come out of his mouth as well. It's really cool. I turn him back off. There you go, buddy. But yeah, he's actually so well detailed too. Um, he has his, like, you know, his normal clothing that he wears. And it's really pretty, like, grassy base that he sits on. These little scallops right here and then flowers. It's so pretty, actually. And there's this little thing right here that you can actually, like, hang up on your Christmas tree or something. Because this is made by Santa's, like, workshop thing or something. And, yeah, there's a little cup. You can actually pour real bubble solution into that. And he'll dip his wand into the thing. And he'll blow bubbles because he blows air from his mouth. It's so cool. And um, he works really, really well, too, I think. He's really adorable. So, yeah, that's all for this super adorable bubble blower SpongeBob. And he's my third favorite toy. So now for my second favorite toy, we're getting to the end. <laughs> so now on to my second favorite SpongeBob toy. The eye poppin' SpongeBob! And I actually got him for Christmas 2022. Oh, and I also got the bubble blowing SpongeBob. Um for my birthday back in 2021, I think. Whatever. Anyway, um this little guy is so adorable. He's really, really squishy and soft, and his eyes obviously can ugh, bug out. It's really nice. He's really soft, like, in his head area, and his pants are hard, and his limbs can actually move around a little bit as well. See that? And he can even move his legs. Both of them. And, um, you can actually turn him on, because he actually has, like, this switch in the back. Oh! I really love. I really love this toy because, um, his little giggles are so cute, and he is just, like, I know that he looks a bit scary, but, like, um, other than the looks of him, he, he is so darn cute, and he's so fun to play with as well. So, um, that's all for my second favorite Spongebob toy, and now for my number one favorite Spongebob toy. All right, I'll be right back. Mermaid Man Spongebob! And this is my number one favorite Spongebob toy ever. The reason why I love this little guy so much is because he is so adorable. He is so unique. He is just a, an amazing toy. And, I mean, he is so adorable. I mean, seriously, his face is so cute. I mean, look at those eyebrows. Wait, hold on a second. There's something on his head. Okay. So... Yeah, he has this really, really awesome look on his face. He has, like, these angry eyebrows, but he has a big smile on his face, and he has the starfish on his nose, and his ray gun as well. And you can make him talk by pressing the M on his belt. Yeah, he is so adorable, and he has this really cool outfit on, an orange, like, sleeveless top, and then these, like, really short shorts that have, like, um, gale, like, gills on them or something. What the heck do you even call those? I don't even know. And then the back of him, you can see the battery case there. And he was actually made back in 2005? It's so hard to see. Where does it say that again? Oh, yeah, right here. There you go, you can see that there. And he comes with this really cool, like, ray piece as well. You can stick it in here. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the ray piece in there. For some reason, this one doesn't really work too well, but hey, whatever. Eh? Eh? Yeah, see that? It never works. I don't know, I, I, I can't stand the ray piece. Eh? 
There you go. Whatever. But yeah, that's all for my top nine favorite SpongeBob toys. I love this little guy right here because he's so fun and unique. I just love him so much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. And peace out.